Hi, this is Elizabeth Wilson from the Perth Pilates Studio presenting for eFit30. Today we're going to pull out a little bit of an unusual prop for our Pilates class. We're going to be working with a broomstick. Now I've got a broomstick here from my local hardware shop, but if yours happens to have a broom handle on the end, that's fine too. Just make sure you have enough space around you so you don't knock any walls or any furniture over as you're going. This is going to be a more intermediate level kind of a workout. There are some basic level exercises in here, but also some more challenging intermediate to advanced level exercises. So this workout is appropriate if you are comfortable performing the Pilates rollover. And I'll just show you that exercise in case you're not familiar with it. So the rollover would be where we peel up and over into a shoulder stand position through the spine and then come back down from there. So if that's a level that you feel comfortable working at, then this workout is certainly for you. Let's begin with our broomstick behind our knees. You're gonna stack up tall through the spine, taking a breath in. As you exhale, slide the gaze down, deep in the belly. You're gonna really slide the tailbone under and peel down through the spine, one vertebra at a time. Breathing in at the bottom, exhale, start to float the head and shoulders deep in the belly. Press the back of the thighs into the broomstick here and roll yourself up and restack. We're just going to do two more repetitions here to loosen up through that spine. So again, you're sliding the gaze down, slide the tailbone under really deep in that belly as you roll it back. Inhale at the bottom, exhale to float the head and shoulders deep in the belly, press the back of the thighs away and restack. And final repetition here, breathing in, breathe out, slide the gaze down, slide that tailbone under deep in the belly, smoothly rolling it back. Inhale at the bottom and exhale to float the head and shoulders, press the back of the thighs and restack tall. Okay, we're gonna up the ante now a little, bring your broomstick out in front and extend your legs straight out in front of you along the mat. Lengthen up tall through the spine, take another breath in. On the exhale, slide the gaze down, slide the tailbone under, you're gonna roll all the way down through the spine. Allow the arms to float back overhead just as far as you can without the ribs flaring, so keep those ribs connected down. Inhale, float the head, look towards the toes. As you exhale, deep in the belly, peel the body forward. Now reach forward as far as feels comfortable. If you're flexible enough, you can actually hook the pole over your feet and even add a little bend of the elbows to draw yourself further into the stretch. But that's optional. Breathe in here. As you exhale, scoot the tummy, roll the pelvis under and peel back down again, one vertebra at a time. Arms float back overhead. Inhale, allow the head to float, look to the toes. Exhale, deepen the belly. Really think of those inner thighs staying connected together as you curl up. Breathe into the stretch here. Stack it back, roll the pelvis back. One vertebra at a time, peeling to the mat. Keeping the legs as heavy as you can. The ribs stay connected down as the arms come back overhead. Inhale to float the head and shoulders. Exhale, deep in the belly, peel the lower belly, back through the spine, lengthen yourself forward. You should be starting to get a little deeper into that stretch now. And then again, scoop the tummy. Roll the pelvis back, ribs stay connected down, arms reach back overhead. And once more, float the head and shoulders, look to the toes. Exhale, deep in the belly and round that body forward. Really curling in on yourself. Scoot the tummy. Now let's hold it here for an extra stretch. So breathing in this position, as you exhale, a gentle reach with the arms. See if you can sink a little deeper towards the stretch at whatever level that is for you. And then from there, releasing the bar and re-stack up tall. Now from here, we're gonna add an extra little hamstring stretch. So take the bar around one foot. Lift up tall through the spine. Sit up as tall as you possibly can here. Now you're gonna try and maintain that lift through the spine as you lengthen the leg. So depending on how flexible you are, the leg may go all the way straight or it may be bent. You just find the spot where you get a really good hamstring stretch. From there, breathe and allow the leg to bend off. Stay lifted through the spine. Exhale, lengthen. Breathe in and hold and allow the leg back down. Let's go once more. Exhale, lengthen that leg up. Inhale, and then exhale, allow it back down. Let's release that foot, take the other foot around the bar. Again, lift tall through the spine, really lengthen up as high as you can. Take a breath in, exhale, lengthen the leg away, lift tall, allow the leg to bend back in, and twice more, allow the leg to lengthen. Bring it in, and final repetition, allowing the leg to lengthen, hold, and then releasing that leg down. From here, we're gonna roll down through the spine once more. So take a breath in. As you exhale, slide the gaze down, slide the tailbone under. This time, we're getting ready to go into our rollover position. So you deepen the belly, allow the legs up. 
peel up and over through the spine. Now from here, you're gonna bring the bar over the back of the legs. Bring the bar down onto the legs, scoot the tummy. You start to roll down through the spine one vertebra at a time and you're getting a little bit of pressure down through that bar, which will intensify the hamstring stretch for you. As you come down, lower the bar to the back of the legs, curl the head and shoulders up, deepen the belly into a flat tummy here. Again, sink the tummy, allow the legs to peel up and over. Let the bar come back overhead as you go. Inhale there. And again, use the bar down the back of the legs to increase that stretch just a little. Allow the arms down, float the head and shoulders up, deepen the belly. One more repetition here. Exhale, scoot the tummy, peel it up and over. Smooth through the spine as you go. Inhale there. And then again, exhale, deepen the belly and roll it down drawing down into that stretch through the back of the thighs. Float the head and shoulders up from here, hold the position. And we're ready to go into the Pilates 100. Now, if you need to make this exercise easier, you can bend the knees or even have the feet resting on the floor. But for the full version, we'd have the legs up straight. You take a breath in here, and then as you exhale, breathing out for five and then in for five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Breathing in, two, three, four, five. Exhale, deep in the belly. If you wish to work harder, breathing in now, allow the legs to lower a little further down towards the floor, so long as you can, can still keep that tummy sinking up and in, really deep in the belly. Keep that breath going out for five strong breaths, in for five pulses with the hands. Exhale, deep in the belly, out for five, in for five. We're gonna do two more sets here. Exhale, out for five. In for five, four, three, two, one. And again, deep in the belly. See if you can curl up just a little higher. Hold the position there, maintain. Sink the tummy, come up a little further. Allow the legs to bend, lower the head back down. From there, reach the toes up to the ceiling once more. Deep in the belly, peel up and over through the spine. This time the arms stay overhead. Connect through the tummy, reach the toes up towards vertical. Maintain the position there. And from here, we're gonna take ourselves into control balance. So one leg lowers down towards you, just as far as you can, keeping your pelvis really square and without falling out of position. Allow the legs back up and scissor them the other way, deep in the belly. Now it's relatively easy to bring the leg down close towards you. What I want you to think about is that other leg pressing up and away really long. So you're working strong through the back of the thigh. And that's where you feel the challenge to maintain your balance here starts to come in. So there's a lot of work here through the tummy, a lot of work through the back of the legs, a lot of work through the backside. You wanna see if you can keep a little gap between your chin and your chest here. You don't wanna be hiked up too much onto the neck. So you don't wanna have that chin really jammed down onto the chest. Now, once again, this exercise is an advanced level exercise. So listen to your body. Choose it if it's appropriate for you. From here, allow both legs together, deep in the belly, roll down through the spine one vertebra at a time with control. Okay, bring the feet down to the floor. Hands go slightly wider than shoulder width apart and feet are just hip width apart. Take a breath in as you exhale, deep in the belly and articulate up through the spine, one vertebra at a time. The knees reach long over the toes. Breathe in here. As you exhale, roll it down through the spine. The shoulders are wide. Allow the arms to float back overhead, just as far as you can again without those ribs flaring. Inhale again, exhale, deep in the belly and articulate up through the spine. Knees reach really long over those toes. Breathe in again, exhale, one vertebra at a time coming down. So every time you roll down, you want to think about trying to create extra space between the vertebrae as you go. Sink the tummy again, deepen that belly and roll it up. Inhale, hold it there. Exhale, rolling down one vertebra at a time. Allow the arms to float back overhead. And final repetition here, breathing in, exhale, deep in the belly, peeling those hips up, those knees reach really long over the toes there. Breathing in and then exhale and rolling it back down. Okay, let's up the ante here a little now. So we sink the tummy, we peel it back up through the spine, one vertebra at a time. This time, just keep those arms going straight up towards the ceiling. Stabilize with your left foot into the mat so there's no rock or tip of the hips and the right leg floats to tabletop. Take that leg back down, stabilize, deep in the belly, press with the right foot into the floor and the left leg floats. And again, allow it back down. 
stabilize. Take your time as you go from one side to the other. So you can really get that stability through the body. If you feel any work into the back muscles, you know you're lifting those hips too high. You've got to scoot the tummy a little more. Think of the top of the hips tipping back towards you and that tailbone reaching up just a little more. Okay, from there, stabilizing with the right leg, float the left. Once more on the other side, stabilize and float. Shoulders are wide back into the mat, pause there, inhale. Scoot the tummy a little more and then rolling it down through the spine. One vertebra at a time, all the way down to neutral. We're gonna go once more, take a breath in. Breathe out, sink the tummy, reach that tailbone up really deep in the belly, reach the knees long over the toes. Find the length and the stretch through the front of the thighs. Stabilize with your right foot, float the left leg. And take it down, stabilize left, float right. That's it, just take your time here. Press with the supporting leg into the floor. Stay as soft as you can in the muscles under the back of the arms, the lats. Try and keep those released. Often we'll try and lock into our lats to help our glutes out, okay? So try not to allow that to happen. Because if you do pull into them, it'll really tense you up through the neck and the shoulders. Really deep in the belly there. Let's do one more repetition each side. Soft again, still under the arms and then take that foot down to the floor. Pause there, take a breath in. Exhale again, scoot the tummy, peel down through the spine, one vertebra at a time. Allow the arms to reach back overhead, let those legs go long, and we roll up to sitting. So inhale, float the head and shoulders, look to the toes. Exhale, deepen the belly, and roll it up through the spine, and then restack. Now from here, we're gonna stay sitting. Hands come a little wider apart on the dowel. You want to keep the ribs connected down towards the hips and we're going to float the arms up and back overhead. Now you want to make sure here that your hands are wide enough apart on the dowel. So this feels like a strong but still comfortable stretch. So if you need to make it easier, take the hands a little wider. If you need to make it harder, a stronger stretch, bring the hands closer together. Ribs stay connected down to the hips, reach them up and over, stretching through the shoulders. As you circle over, you need to allow those shoulder blades to glide up a little bit to allow the range of motion through the arms. And you want to make sure that you keep the movement really even between the two arms. So sometimes if you're overdoing the stretch, you kind of feel like you pull to one side, so try and stay very central. The final little thing to watch is what's happening with the ribs. Make sure you're not cheating the range by popping your rib cage out. Keep the ribs connected down towards the hips as you go. Let's bring the arms back up and over again. That's our last repetition. Now we take the dowel across the back of the shoulders, wrap the arms around. Stay sitting tall through the spine. Connect to the tummy and think of your sitting bones really anchored down into the floor. So the sitting bones stay plugged and they do not move. As you exhale, wrap the ribs around, corkscrew even taller through the spine and rotate to one side. Breathe in, bring the body back to center. Exhale, rotate to the other side, lower tummy stays zipped. Look back to the back hand to really increase your range here. Inhale again through centre, exhale, wrap the ribs and rotate. Lower tummy stays zipped up, breathe in back to centre. Exhale again, rotate. We're just going to do two more repetitions on each side here. See if you can really zip the tummy, rotate a little further each time. Staying really tall. So you want to watch each time you turn, that you lengthen up through the spine rather than compressing down, that's your trick. And final one to the other side, wrap those ribs, rotate around. Bring yourself back to centre, take a breath in. As you exhale, lengthen up and over to the side, feeling a stretch through the side of the body. Float the body back up tall, and then lengthen up and over the other way. Stretch it over. Keep the ribs connected down a little bit in front. If you flare the ribs, you'll actually give yourself less of a stretch. So keep them slightly down. Float the body back up tall. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, take it up and over. Ribs connecting to your hips. Breathe in, float it back up tall. Once more to the other side, lengthen up and over. Bring the body back up. And from there, bring the dowel up and releasing it down in front. Very well done. You've just survived broomstick pilates. If you'd like to connect with us at the Perth Pilates Studio, find us on Facebook at the Perth Pilates Studio or join us online at our website, perthpilatesstudio.com. I look forward to seeing you there soon.